Then in turn, so basically, this is Palace. We're in the Champions League. Um, we've had a lot of problems this season, basically. I brought in, I knew I'd brought in too many players, but we need to upgrade the playing squad like sooner or later. So it made sense to do it sooner. We're still going to qualify for the Champions League. Like, there's still a chance that we can win the league, but we've just lost to United. Like, we scored in the last minute. It was, I was absolutely devastated. It was one of the worst moments of football manager with this save so far. So we, we were shit in the first leg against Ledger as well. We drew to all. The strikers have stopped scoring. So I've had to drop Keane and Bolo. Catrone and Isaac are not available anyway. So I put the big man up front because he's on form and I've recalled Decore to the midfield. Um, I, I don't feel like he's settled into the club properly yet, but I don't really see what other things we can do. Like, this forwards have just stopped scoring. Like, the club is in free fall at the moment. Like, we need to make sure that this doesn't get any worse than it already is. So, um, let's hope we can turn it around today. It's a, it's a huge game. A massive game for the club. We just need to win or like even draw nil nil or one one will get us through. So we know what we need to do. We've got the two big men up front, so I might even I attempt to go a little bit more direct today potentially. But we'll see how this goes. Expect nothing but a win here. Like these guys, they need to know performance is expected today. Like these are shit. There's no way shouldn't win this game today. Let's see how we start with the two big men up front. So we've got a bit of a loss of mobility up front. Playing Bentec is the mobile striker. So let's see how that goes. So they're playing quite attacking. They're like three forwards. Fancy their chances a little bit, don't they? Right. Oh, nothing's happening, is it? We've done nothing again. Wheels are coming off this team. We have got a lot of injuries, but I'm not going to blame that. Like, come on! Like, thing is, we've got no mobility in the channels with these pair of plebs. Like, let's go slightly less wide, and then just go a bit longer as well. Just pump it up to these plebs up there. Right. Come on, ref, but it's just... This is shit, isn't it? We've created a couple of chances since I've gone more direct. I've not seen anything happening. Like, I just wonder whether like the AI is starting to figure out how to play this tactic now a little bit. Oh shit! Nice. We've done nothing, have we? It's just... Oh, something's happened. Something's happened. I missed it. This is dire, this is. We're really going to need to sort our crap out in the second half. What I might do is go to the rescue tactic. It's not that offensive. Uh, yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Right, this has been appalling. To fucking sort your shit out second half. Is that Azukovic? Oh, he's already motivated. Right, come on. Demand more from these twats, mate. This might work quite nicely, actually, having the two advanced wingers with the two big men in the box. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing... Yes, now, surely. Oh, Fellaini off the post. Nice. Oh, that 
was better, wasn't it? No, we didn't score, but at least we fucking won. Yes. Oh, we can't finish, can we, Zukovic? I keep thinking he's going to be the new Messi, but he's not because he can't finish. Oh, come on, big man. This is not good enough, is it? Right now, surely we've got, we got like 10 big men in this team now. Yes! Come on! Come on, Fellaini! To be honest, like, that's where I could see this tactic evolving as the AI gets better at playing against it. Is it turning into a bit of a poolist tactic where we score from set plays, you know? Yeah, yeah, yes, come on. That's what I wanted to see from this team. Beautiful. I'm thinking I might go 44 if I'm playing these two big men up top. Let's see how it goes when we go 44 like this. And we play it as a counter. I think we'll be really good next season though when... Wendell and Decore are sort of bedded into that. Kabai's off. He doesn't want to stay in England anymore. So that's my long-term. These guys are my long-term midfield duo. I mean, obviously Fellaini. Yeah, I might be keen on to see if he can. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's not looking too bad, 424. Right. Need to protect the big men for next week. So King can come on. Mr. Wendell can come off. Um, and Sacco can come off. I should have done those subs individually, but should be all right. Looking a bit better, aren't we? Yes! Come on, Keane. Looking good with this 44, actually. So that could be the next evolution of the tactic, potentially. I might start playing, I might start training attacking set pieces as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, checkers. Great stuff. What a performance that was. I mean, these are shit anyway, so we should be beating these, but... You know, like I say, we've been struggling in recent weeks. Wobie's looked a bit better today. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I think we've been quite impressive. Like, we've created 20 chances. We've really had more possession than them. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. What is this tactic? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a tactic. 424 counter. And then, yeah, I'll load it up as my third choice tactic. Brilliant, lads. I mean, okay, it's led your war sold at home. Let's not get too carried away, but it did look far more effective when we changed to 424. Absolutely great performance, lads. Brilliant. Now we're in the quarters of the Champions League. What an achievement for Crystal Palace. Five million gone in the bank. Anger at poor half performance. Yeah, I mean, you're an absolute genius, mate, to be honest. Right, when's the Champions League draw? Right, let's see if we can get the draw. Let's see who we get. If I can get there quickly before the video runs out. 
really hope that we get someone easy so we can get 